Next item on our agenda, which is going to be the Ringerton case, and that's Ms. Jessica. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, today I brought before you, before you a um, proposed certificate of appropriateness for a new construction of a primary structure. That address is 1807 Plum Street, Ringerton, Georgia. The main motivation behind this request is to allow for the new construction for the Batter Women's Shelter um, Administrative Building. Again, this will be 1807 Plum Street. Um, the subject property possesses road frontage on Plum Street and is 0.18 acres. Um, it was last used. Uh, the property is an office space for Gandhi Construction in 2015. Um, the section of Plum Street is classified as a residential street. And said property is located in the office retail district as well as the overlay district of the Remington downtown and urban development area. Um, on June 24, 2019, the Planning Commission, um, as well as on July 8, 2019, with the Remington City Council, both voted unanimously to approve the demolition and new construction of an ex um, I've got assembly, but an accessory building at 1807 Plum Street, at which time we did discuss that at some point in time the property owner would like to build a new structure um, at, at that property. Um, the new structures actually come a lot earlier than what we had anticipated. Um, so they're not going to be rebuilding the accessory building that they originally planned to um, demolish with the main structure. The current main structure has already been in the process of being demoed currently. Um, and as uh, staff's recommendation overall, staff is supportive and approved the COA request to allow for the following conditions. That a new construction for any accessory structure they decide to on the current slab be with the condition that the um, structure adheres to the Remington Downtown Design Guidelines and Remington Zoning Ordinance and is approved by staff prior to being erected. Um, as we discussed last week, um, I gave you the site plan that they were willing to use or that they were wanting to use. And I also put with you today a letter from um, the Hayes administration stating that they would allow both properties to use the same shared parking. So it would have been one of our issues with parking that since it's going to be shared. Um, and it's by the same property owner with different parcels. We um, support that proposal from them. And if anybody has any questions, I would be glad to answer them. Jessica, the first question I have is on, well, the main question I have is on parking. Even with shared parking, how many total parking spaces? I believe there was 15. They needed nine for one side and seven for the other. Okay. Thank you. Do you have any questions for Ms. Jessica? No? If there's no questions for staff, then we'll open it up. Is there anyone here tonight who wish to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward. Anyone tonight wishing to speak in favor of the request? Please come forward. Anyone here tonight wishing to speak against the request? If there's no one here wishing to speak against the request, I'll turn it back to the commissioners for any discussion. No discussion? I'll call for a vote. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion on COA 2019-02 Plum Street. Make a motion that we approve the request. All right, we have a motion to approve. Okay. Commissioner Wilds, second. Any discussion on the motion? What was the condition? Madam Chair, I will I will I will make I will attach my motion uh, staff recommendation come up with new construction done, that the one condition is attached to my motion that she verbalized. Okay. Um, Trendy, do you have that? The condition? Yes, <clears throat> Okay. All right. So we have um, Commissioner Bailey's uh, motion with the one stipulation. We have that seconded by Commissioner Wilds. Any more discussion? If not, I'll call for the vote. All those voting in favor, please raise your right hand. All those against, and it is unanimous. Thank you, Ms. Jessica. Thank you. Moving to our Valdosta cases, um, 